challenge, but she's got to do that for two halves. She can't. She can't just look for her shots in one half only. When we saw when we saw Anna Lador be more aggressive offensively, we were a different team. And uh, we've got to have that going forward. Well, and she finishes with 19 points, totaling all scores today. And really, I think one of the catalysts that got you back into this game and for a couple of great moments got you the lead in the second half was the three-point shooting of Anna Kapodosta. Anna did hit some big shots for us, and it was it was good to see. Um, you know, she's somebody that's continually getting better as the season goes along. You'll be back in action Thursday against Ball State. You'll have to deal with another very nimble center. We saw one today in America Woods. We'll see another one in Natalie Fontaine from Ball State. And Fontaine's very good. These two post players are very good. I think the, the thing is those two complement each other really well. Um, but, uh, you know, Woods and Harris. But you're right. We're going to have our hands full with Fontaine, and we're going to have to see what we're made out of. You know, we could easily bury our heads after what we've been through in the last week. Uh, going one for two, but you know, well, we could decide we want to be better and learn from what we just found out. And I hope this team comes out and understands that Anna Ladorch has got to be a offensively aggressive. Defense. I hope that Crunch understands that you know she's got to be smart with her fouls, and Inma's got to be more aggressive. We've got to get those kids more involved in our offense early. And we're trying to run things for them. It's just that I thought they were playing kind of passive. We need them to play aggressive from the tip. Well, and in the second half, I believe he ended up shooting 57 percent, which is a fantastic number. And, and you know, unfortunately, just it, it was a numbers in the 30 percent in the first half. The elements are there. You got to get healthy, which I certainly understand. You got to get some points off the bench, which I likewise understand. Uh, it, as far as getting Stephanie and Lindsey Baker back in the lineup, I know it's a long process. Can you bring our fans up to speed on either one of those? Right? I, mean, I really can't. I sure. wish I could. I mean. Uh, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen with that. And it's unfortunate because those are, especially with Steph, it's an experienced player. But, you know, we can talk about that all we want, but we can't control it. And so I'd rather worry about what we can control. And, you know, the kids in that locker room are the ones I'm going to coach until they tell me I've got more at my disposal. But, you know, and, and one thing I would say, I, I think Olivia stepped in and played some solid minutes today. And obviously she didn't get any time up at Buffalo. And we need her because, especially when we get in foul trouble, she's got to continue to be able to step in and give us some minutes. And we've got to be a little deeper than what we were. But... You know, we've got to we've got to muster something on the road from our bench uh, because our bench really hasn't done a lot in these last two games, and we need more from them. Well, and uh, a little bit of a silver lining today when you rallied and did take the lead, uh, there, there was a pretty good contingency wearing midnight blue and gold seated here behind me, and uh, I think it helped spark on the team to get that comeback going. Well, we appreciate so much, and our fans are amazing. I, you know, sitting in here an hour before the game, see the bus flow in, and everybody that made the trip up. We're so fortunate to have the fan base that we do, and I hope they know how much we need them when we get back home. Uh, this team needs you more now than probably ever because, you know, it's tough. They're not used to going through the stretches that we're going through. We've got a big learning process ahead of us, and, you know, we need, we need all the support we can get.